Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing um, an ad well, it's a new addition to our weekly reading, uh, among all the readings that we have. Um, in this reading, we have um, the weekly soulmate reading. Now, I just want to give you guys um, an information on how I would do the reading. Okay, first of all, I'm not an astrologer. That's one thing that you need to understand. This is going to be Rahu base or your north node. Your, wherever your Rahu or your north node is sitting at, okay, this is where the connection will happen, meaning you will get either attracted to their sun or their moon. Now, this Rahu and Ketu energy, these are one body that was split into half, okay? Now, for further explanation on that matter, okay, I would suggest go to KRS channel because the person has more knowledge with regards to this um, uh, how to call it, this connection of Rahu and Ketu. I'm only here to read who is this person and in an extended reading, what is the energy between the two of you. Okay, so this is gonna be for each sign. Hi guys, so this is gonna be for the Rahu in Aries. If you don't know your Rahu, please do go, okay, to Google, basically, there's free sites that offers Rahu. I mean, not offers Rahu, but basically you can get the ch your chart, right? So just get your Rahu, and then if this is Rahu in Aries, then you're in the right um, zodiac. If, if, we, if you can't get a site that you want, there's also, in our site, it's also available, okay? So there's free in our, in our website, well, it's not free, so it's up to you, right? <laughs> okay. But you get it in the same day with our website at the same time also. It gets directed to you guys, okay? So this is for the Rahu and Aries. This is who your soulmate is. Rahu and Aries. Rahu and Aries. Here we go. Three, six, seven. Okay. Now, the person, whoever this is right now, or who this person is, they have a strong water sign in their chart. Piscean, they can be Jupiter ruled. They have Wheel of Fortune here with a death card. So, um, Wheel of Fortune is, oh sorry, can you see that? Okay, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter ruled, and this is a water sign, um, death card, meaning Scorpio. So it, either it can be a Scorpio in their chart or Piscean. Now, this person right now is either struggling in their career from what I'm seeing here because they have two of swords with five of wands meaning they're trying to break away from something that is fixed there's something fixed that they're trying to break away because they have eight of swords with wheel of fortune either this person is resisting a connection or feeling trapped with a connection they are right now connected with an earth sign queen of wands doesn't matter the gender but this person is in a fix meaning it can be a relationship that they're tied down to. I don't see marriage, but they can be with someone right now. This person doesn't see the connection that you guys have, unaware. Four of Cups with the Two of Swords, the person is not conscious. Because again, they're still trying to figure out how to get away from this Earth sign. The Five of Wands over here is showing um, you know, a lot of conflict. They have conflict within inside their head. This is not a fight between the earth sign. This is a fight inside their head. It's all going inside their head. The two of swords with the eight of swords, this person has basically created their own demons inside their head. They want to break out or it's going to happen soon. The death card, meaning Pluto will make it happen. The planets will align for this to basically shift because the wheel of fortune is fixed. And especially in this kind of reading, once Wheel of Fortune comes out, it's the energy is active. When the energy is active, it's going to be separated because Pluto is next to it. Jupiter sets it, Pluto's finish it. Okay? The relationship that this person had has already reached its capacity. So whoever they were with, regardless of whatever connection that they have, they're meant to get separated. It has already reached the point where the planets now has to basically move them because again, this is a contract and if they're stagnant, 
they will be separated from that contract to be okay with the next contract this person also is either refusing it in the sense that they don't have the the fire in them basically this person doesn't have a backbone they're not gonna step out and make claim that okay this is done this is over because their backbone they're trying to look for it because it's inside their head it's not inside their head the free will that they have they're not using it okay so Rahu and Aries I'm gonna continue this reading with what are the energies between the two of you thank you very much guys for watching bye